I forgot her name. <laughs> Syrian. Or no! <laughs> well, maybe she could have a baby with her other brother and it could be called <laughs> Syrian. Hello, Muggles. My name is Ashley. This is my mom, Sherry. Today we are doing a collab video with Jashana C. And what we're all doing is we're making an argument or a case, if you will, for people who could win the Iron Throne. Jashana is a Game of Thrones super fan. She even won some trivia at a bar, so she knows her stuff. So if you want to go watch other Game of Thrones content after this, she has a lot of videos up on her channel. Also, I did a fan video edit at the end of this, so stick around till the end if you want to see that. For now, Jashana is going to kick us off for who she thinks is going to win the Iron Throne. I can't have children. Who told you that? The one she murdered my husband. As it occurred to you, she might not have been a reliable source of information. Well, hello. Jashana here from Jashana C to talk about my Game of Thrones endgame prediction. I don't have any real serious conviction in any of my theories with season eight and how it's all gonna end, uh, but I do have a couple theories and I'm gonna talk about one in particular today. Um, and I chose this one because I think it's the most outlandish one, probably. So in season eight, I think that John and Danny are both going to die, okay? How this happens, I don't know. Are one of them Azora High? I don't know. I think Danny might die during childbirth. I think she's gonna get pregnant from their uh, little escapade. And I don't know if they'll continue having escapades once they find out, uh, you know, the true nature of their familial relationship. <laughs> but they did already, and I think she's gonna get pregnant. And I think she might die during childbirth, and John will probably die on the battlefield or something. And two people that I think they cannot kill off at this point, they just, they can't. Uh, one for sure is Sansa. I don't think that they will kill Sansa after everything she has been through, all of her character development, all of her growth, seeing her become a very strong ruler. Last season, they kept showing us things of her being a good leader and people saying, you're good at this, blah, blah, blah. Multiple people telling her that. Why would they allude to all of this business about her being a good leader and then kill her off? I just don't think they will do that and everything she's been through, like there's a reason she has had so much growth as a person and a character. I don't think they're gonna kill her. And Tyrion, I don't think they're gonna kill Tyrion either. He is, he has been consistently a fan favorite and not that that means they can't kill him because this is Game of Thrones after all, but I just don't know that they would with everything, again, that he has been through and all of the suffering he has done. He has been the underdog his entire life. As far as character deaths on the show go, they kill your favorites and they kill villains. Like they kill the leaders that you were like, there's no way they could die and they kill the villains. And then random people, of course, but they don't really, they haven't killed the underdog. I'm trying to think of anyone that's just been crapped on constantly that's a favorite character and then been killed. There's favorite characters that have been killed, but not that are just being told, you're crap, you're crap, you're crap, you're crap, and then we like love them and then they kill them. They haven't done that. I don't think they will. I just don't see it being a sudden thing they throw in at the end of like, we're gonna kill off this guy. Now, again, they do kill favorites though, and he is a favorite. He has been consistently a favorite. So there is some potential for him to die. I just don't believe that they will do it. I think he's gonna be the last Lannister standing. And I think what will happen is Tyrion and Sansa, I don't know if they will be together. I could see that happening. Technically, they're still married, right? Or did her marriage to Ramsay and like annihilate that because that was consummated. At any rate, I don't know if they would like get together and have feelings for each other. Um, I think they'll be friendly though. And I could see them ruling as regent and advisor to the baby of John and Danny until the baby comes of age. That is my kind of outlandish, probably not gonna happen, but I would be really, really happy if it did theory for who's gonna be on the Iron Throne. Technically John and Danny's child, but Sansa is gonna be the regent with Tyrion advising and helping until the child comes of age. With Arya, of course, 
being, you know, a bodyguard and Brienne being in the Queen's Guard or King's Guard, whatever, if they have a boy or a girl. And yeah, that is what I want to see happen. I just don't think Jon or Danny are going to end up on the Iron Throne because this is Game of Thrones. I just, we've been told over and over again that one of them is going to be it. We've been shown, like, we've been built up to think this is going to happen. I think that that's what they do on Game of Thrones. They pull the rug out from under you. So there we have it. That's what I think. <laughs> it might be silly, but we'll see. Nobody knows what's going to happen, right? Thanks for listening to my theory. <laughs> Bye-bye. Seize him. Cut his throat. Stop. Oh, wait. I've changed my mind. Let him go. Power is power. Cersei isn't necessarily who I want to win or who I think will win, but I got Cersei. I was assigned Cersei because of two sentences that I said. To start off, kind of look at today's day and age. You don't always get who you want to be in charge. <laughs> Just not saying anything else on that. George R.R. R. Martin, is that his name? Doesn't play by the rules. He doesn't have the happy en endings, and that's honestly what I like about the series. To outrage everyone, he can make the White Walkers or Cersei win. The strong survive. And she's strong, and she's proven it. She's done some vicious things and gone through some crap. But she does come back from it all. As a woman, she's had to really fight to be where she is. And I think that it comes off more bitchy because she's a woman. There's some dudes who've done some pretty bad crap in here. And it's not as looked upon as badly as it is from her. Especially like this is supposed to be what in the past in the old days where there weren't as many women in power and so she really had to fight. I think that Tyrion might have a deal with her. He looked very disappointed when her and Jon went into the boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not really his business so he turned around and walked away. I felt like he kind of just fucking crept. I don't know what you're talking about walking away. He sat out there. It was He's so like, weird. Uh, Tyrion has always wanted to be part of his family accepted and loved and so this could be his way I mean because we didn't get to see in the room what deal they made and they might have a plan and he might be like maybe maybe I'll finally get back in good graces with my family but she'd like cut his throat she has wildfire left yes so if everybody else is battling the white walkers and three-fourths or half of their armies die off she's in a pretty good position I think she's genius for not fighting in the battle. That's really dirty of her, but it's Cersei. <laughs> yeah. And those decisions are the reason why she's at where she's at. Everyone else will have less less of an army, possibly less dragons, and she'll be sitting pretty good unless they all die and all the White Walkers come for her. Yeah, but then what does she have to lose? She's gonna die anyways. Yeah. If you look at war, we used they used to at least the history books say, used to stand in a line and then gentlemen war you all started at the same time and it was Napoleon who started strategies and started really kicking some butt. So I think she's a genius, I think she's got that down and I think that that could help her. So are you basically saying that Cersei is the Napoleon of Game of Thrones? Well, yeah. Or do you think Tyrion is the Napoleon of Game of Thrones? Because he did that whole he could wildfire be. thing. Mm. She has nothing to lose. She's lost her mom, her dad, her children. Jamie's now walked out on her. That he's lost respect for her and her gameplay. And you kind of saw like a character arc with him that I really enjoyed. And maybe that started with losing his hand and meeting Brienne and Tarth. Thank you. I'm bad with names. <laughs> Sorry, I really do watch it. <laughs> and I think he's changed and grown and he's just like, I'm not going to do her bidding anymore, like pushing the kid out of the tower. What was the kid's name? Bren. The only thing that she has to lose is her supposed baby that she's pregnant with. But that's also a reason to do what you got to do to be the winner. If she's pregnant, a baby would fuel her to want to keep fighting. But lastly, she has a lot going for her. She's a Lannister. She's got King's Landing. She has the throne. She has the Iron Fleet. And they have the advantages because of all of that. 
They aren't fighting the White Walkers, so her army is going to be good and strong. Cersei has proven that she understands how to play the game, and she's willing to do whatever it takes to win and end up back on top. Whether it be loved one, family, dignity. Power is her ultimate goal, and she would probably rather see King's Landing burn down than anybody else have it. They released a poster, and in the poster you see a bunch of skulls, and then there's the Iron Throne, and then on one of the skulls is Cersei's crown. What do you make of that? Either she's like, I'm a badass bee, uh, her whole place got burned down by dragons or White Walkers, or her own, what's that stuff? I forget the name Wildfire. of it. Wildfire. Wildfire. Or her, uh, she died during childbirth, and her baby could be the ultimate ruler. Yes or no? Is that skull on the ground Cersei? Oh, it definitely could be. I, that's not a fucking yes or no! <laughs> that's an opposite you of a yes or no! You gave me a person no. to fight for! I'm not gonna turn the other way! You're telling me, you're like, Mom, you're assigned Cersei! I'm like, I don't get a choice! I, I can't pick, like, Danny and John like everybody else wants, or their baby, or... Or the dude you're doing? I can't think of his stupid name right now. Uh, he co I you guess. told me to fight for Cersei. I fought for Cersei. I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I do not think that John or Danny will survive. Just like Jashana. Just like you just said, I think they'll both die and other people could make their way onto the throne. Gendry could. I don't think you even know who that is. <laughs> but I think that a fantastic option would be Tyrion. The first reason is that Tyrion has been an underdog for his entire life. And Jashana touched on this. I think that if you haven't had a lot of hard or horrible things happen to you, I don't think you'll be strong enough for the throne. And you can think of Tommen, for example. He wasn't strong enough even though he was the king for a while. I think trauma is a prerequisite of gaining the throne and he has, Tyrion has that box checked. Secondly, Tyrion has political experience. He's been the uh, hand or advisor two times now and he grew up as a Lannister so his, his family was very political. Another Lannister. Another Lannister. He learned strategy by being a Lannister. I think that because of that and from all of these experiences that his mind is invaluable and you have to be smart to be successful on the He had to be strategic. His life was on the line. Exactly. If Jon and Danny die, Sansa will back Tyrion up. Sansa and Tyrion obviously were married for a while and although Sansa really didn't enjoy it obviously, the, the circumstances were horrible, Tyrion was very kind to her and she has mentioned this. Mm. So he will have the vote of the North. Okay, so this is more of a technical thing. Tyrion was not a good soldier fantastic strategist. So I don't think he'll actually be on the quote-unquote battlefield while the White Walkers are coming. Because of that, he has less chance of dying than a lot of our other favorite characters who could be murdered. If all of the people who were fighting end up dying, Tyrion is a fantastic option to be the king. If this happened, Cersei could still have the Iron Throne. However, the people will remember that Tyrion was on the right side of history, that he went to battle for them. I think that Tyrion, because of his circumstance in life, he's always cared more about the people, whereas Cersei very clearly doesn't give a crap about the people that she's ruling. If she was still alive at that point, that would come to bite her in the ass, and Tyrion would get some good karma points. If Danny does survive, obviously Tyrion wouldn't vie for the throne because he's you know, he's her advisor or whatever, so he would be happy with her being the queen. However, Daenerys has similar tendencies that the Mad King, her father, had. For example, she went and she burned all those Tarleys who weren't willing to immediately submit to her. So she could gain the Iron Throne and then we could see that she's actually bad at doing that. If that somehow caused her to lose the throne or be murdered or something, again, Tyrion would still be a good option. So I don't know, obviously, what went down in that meeting with Cersei and Tyrion. I don't know if he's betraying Danny, but I think it speaks volumes that even if he was betraying her, I would still back him up because I like his character so much. Even if he killed one of my favorite characters, I would still want him to live, if not rule. Is this really who you think, or you just wanted 
battle his case. I want John or Daenerys. I know they won't rule together. <sighs> but actually, I don't necessarily want Danny to win. I would be more happy if Jon Snow yeah. would. And I love Daenerys. She's one of my favorites. But that would be too predictable. It, it would not be the Game of Thrones. It would. I would be disappointed. Yeah, I would be upset too. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. Do you know why Varys is so dangerous? Because he doesn't have a cock. Neither do you. Perhaps I'm dangerous too. Daenerys Targaryen lives. A girl at the edge of the world is the least of our problems. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home, and you can't frighten me. We die, we die. But first, will we? The Lords of the North place their trust in me to lead them. A girl has no name. Do you know what kept me standing through all those years in exile? Faith in myself. In Daenerys Targaryen. Shame! Shame! I'm not gonna swear an oath I can't uphold. He's never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Thank you so much for watching. Check Deshauna's channel out. I have all of her social media, like I said earlier, linked below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram where I will be ranting and raving about Game of Thrones this season. And do you want me to link any of your social media? No, I'm a very private person. Okay, mom. The most you could do is my dogs. Be sure to follow my mom's puppy Instagram below. <laughs> and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, muggles. Bye.